lovely bubblies welcome back to our channel you're here with me Sarit and Steve VK okay today guys we're watching India's best breakfast cost 14 cents amazing Punjabi street food yeah guys uh, it's from the channel best ever food review show we've done some reactions to the uh, some of the videos from that channel before um, yeah so uh, <coughs> Another one, uh, a food one, street food, uh, Punjabi street food. Gonna check this one out. Guys, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Also check out our other channel, which is called Our Touch. Links will be in the description below. And also let us know what else to react to. Um, I don't think this is a good one to watch, especially after yesterday, he was like, oh, he was like hoping I'd pick up some, glo is it Golgape? I was on my way home. I'm I was like, right. oh. Yeah, I, I I did fancy him yesterday. Um, after seeing this, you're gonna be like, oh. Yesterday I did fancy him. To be honest, I, I'm all right today. So I've eaten. Until you've watched this. Yeah, but I've eaten right now, so I'm all right. It's when I'm normally it's hungry, and then there's nothing in the house, and then you fancy something you know, that you haven't had for a while. Spicy. Too. And uh, certainly when I like something, you know, with a bit of flavour, I'm not really too much of the sweet stuff. So gorgo beer, I just thought, you know, it's 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 not too fattening, is it? Come on, it's you know, but yeah, it's so tasty. Um, but yeah, so we're going to check this one out, guys. Uh, let us know if there's any other videos you guys want to react, react to. If you can, send us links at any food ones or any other kind of ones, um, wherever it might be. Yeah, send them below. Uh, just shall we have a look? Mm -hmm. Let's go. It is like super flaky on the outside. That is nuts. I love the texture already. Right. And you're going to grab some butter. Yes, we mm -hmm. some. I can't even wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I to pay, but hey. Welcome to Amritsar in Punjab. This is North India, just a few miles away from the Pakistani border, home to the great Sikh Golden Temple and tons of world class food, including street food that can be found almost <laughs> anywhere. This man has a restaurant on his bike. Today we're going to yeah, focus on a classic of Get Amritsar, that. Chole, in mm. all its glorious mm. forms. A locally <laughs> renowned spiced chickpea <laughs> curry. That grabs your taste buds and never lets go. Why wow. does Amritsar love chole so much? Amritsar is best known for its spices. You know, they make it from their hand, directly from field to the kitchen. In this town, chickpeas are in fashion. Mm. And who better to show me the wild world of chole than fashion blogger Diksha? So he puts on some more butter. So they put the Guys, that's that's what we should have. chef putting his life on the line for our taste buds. Oh, he puts it in my oh, hand? Yeah. Yes. This guy is insane. I'll be introduced to some never before seen ingredients. What kind of pickle is that? It looks like a little chicken egg. And even iconic street food that dates back to the Hindustan era, when Pakistan and India were one. Well, we are going to have the Gawa Kulcha. The recipe is before the partition of India and Pakistan. Today we're going on a food tour so epic, even paparazzi can't help but get a peek of the action. Let's chole. <laughs> Location one is bringing the heat. Perfect for cooking the best bread I've ever laid lips on in India. But first, fashion. As a person of fashion, what do you think about my headband? It's looking good. It's different. Is it something that you would try? Yeah, I'd like to. Okay, I didn't expect any of that. Okay. Aside from fashion, today we are getting into food, especially chole. Chole is a chickpea curry, right? Yeah. This dish is famous all over the city. Why does Amritsar love chole so much? Because chole are full of spice. Will I be able to handle it, Mr. White Bread here? Yes. It's not just about the chole. You need a multitude of breads to eat it with. It's called kulcha. Kulcha. It's made of white flour. They oh, serve oh, best kulcha. kulcha, I think. Very tasty, buttery. Basically, after this location, you can stop watching because we went to the best one first. All right, let's go. Here, the bread making operation is underway. This is the white flour dough in matcha. Then they'll do the stuffing there. The stuffing is of potatoes, onions, potatoes. and spices. Oh, mm. so this is stuffed. It's not yeah. just bread. This is called kulcha. Bread stuffed with boiled potatoes, onion, okay. grated cauliflower, coriander leaves, and green chilies. Once stuffed mm. and flung over to the cooking station, this insane man risks his extremities in order to roast it up in a fiery hot oh, tin or oven. This is the tandoor where they are cooked. Tandoor. And the inside, there is a ton of bread. It is insanely hot. Oh, he puts it in my hand? Yes. This man has no hair on his arm. It is so hot, it's all been burned off. I think you should try sticking one of the breads in there. Do you think you can do it? You don't want to burn the hair off your arms? Okay. I'm going to try it, guys. Bam, 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 bam. Yes? Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you did it? I you got did it. it. All right, it's pretty good. Good? It's good. Jalu. 
Exactly. Once the bread is cooked, it is slathered in butter. But our meal is still missing the main course. We've got our kucha, and here is the chole. Chole is made with chickpeas, and then it's all about the spices, including green chilies, chana masala, red chili mm. powder, garam masala, and dry mango powder. Mango is dried, and then it's uh, left under sun for some time, then it just makes a spice out of it. That sounds good to me. Let's try it out. We've got our chole, we've I got our chutney, and hungry, but we need to assemble it. Oh, look at it inside. Yes, this is how we eat it. They put a busload oh. of butter on here. I will oh, be yeah. really Sorry. amazed if you can keep your white shirt white the whole day. Do you think you can? Yes, I can. Okay, let's eat. So we're mixing our chutney with the chole. Whoa, we have to make chutney. a little vessel from our bread no, pour in the bread. chole. We have to eat this three more times today. Can you do it? All right, cheers. Ooh, I could do it. do this to me. Mm. Oh, and unlike any chole I've ever had, buttery, rich, toasty, flaky bread, and so. then the masala, it's just kind of gentle. It's really good spice. Yeah, but mm -hmm. still better than what we eat at mm. home. It is so perfect. Like, this is one of those meals know. that makes you forget that you're eating vegetarian food. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Good choice. You were not hungry, it was me who wanted it. This next place is like a short order fast food joint. And these guys are fast. And you gotta be fast too if you're hoping to get served. This place is really competitive. You gotta be quick. If you do manage to make it to the front of the counter, you'll witness pure magic. Do you know what is so special about the chole here? It's all about spices. So very good chole, good masala. What kind of bread are we getting? We are going to eat mati. What is that? It's something crunchy and it's fried. So they're making it right down here. He puts it together in about two seconds. Is the crunchy one on the bottom? Yes. Whoa. This is called patti and these are the chane. What is chane? Chole and chane are the one and same thing. Oh, same thing. So they put this cracker on the bottom and then they put on some <laughs> chane, a little onion, some chilies, and don't forget the chutney. Yes. Sir, thank you. Let's go eat. She's like, I'm not happy. So we've got our dish right here. I noticed right. they gave me two chilies, but why don't you have any chilies? I don't like chilies. You don't like spicy food? Oh. Very spicy, I can't. Okay, this is a pickle. Ooh, what kind of pickle is that? Mm. It looks like a little chicken egg. It's called amla. What vegetable is it? Amla. It's called amla? Yeah. Great, and here's a Google amla. image of that. Oh, it's very fragrant, very pickly. What kind of crazy it's vegetable is this? Here again, Google images. So if you didn't see it the first time, that's it's what we're doing right now. But the pickle good. version. Mm. Super savory, super heavy. So we're gonna break that crispy shell on the bottom. Ready? One, two, three. Cheers. That's very rich. Very rich. Right, crispy fried kind of bread. Would you even call it a cracker? Maybe. Would you call me a cracker? Thank you so much. I'm gonna get another big bite. Here we go. Mm. The cracker is soaking up all that chole. Super savory. It's kind of like making the cracker half crispy, half soggy on the inside. The onion in there, very oniony. Is this like kind of a Indian fast food? Basically, it's breakfast for everyone. It's so affordable. It's safe. Come here only ten minutes. That. That's the breakfast you want. I mean, McDonald's and chips on the. Ah, no, get the breakfast. I'll get you, you food as well. Our next location offers a dish akin to taking a bite of history with Is a recipe that well? predates the Hindustan yeah. era. We have reached our third destination right behind us. And guys, I hope you're not sick of chole because we're having some more chole. <laughs> What's so special about this place? Oh, we are going to have a bigha wa kulcha. It's called drenched kulcha. Oh. Kulcha where oh, they all made the differently. is before the partition of India and Pakistan. So this is very unique. Pakistan and India were one country called Hindustan. Is that Right? Yes. When did that division happen? Do you know? 1947. Yeah. Should we go try some? Yeah. We're in line here, and I'm not a host. I'm just a regular guy in line for food. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Okay, I don't know how this works. He's wearing completely all white. Like me. Just like you. That confidence <laughs> here. The control and precision to be able to work all day with these kind of brown sauces and just be flawless like an angel. It's amazing. Do they have just one thing on the menu here? No, they have like mati chane also. Mm. Which one are we getting? We are getting bigger one. Oh, this one. Okay, so he puts the bread inside this huge bowl that. of chickpeas, puts the bread back onto a plate, more chole on top, then mm -hmm. onion, a chili, a wow. pickle, what is that sauce? Like Chutney. Like oh, that is Soaks heavy. the bread as well. Really yeah. soaked up that sauce. Let's go eat it. Here it is. Look at how much it costs. 
Oh, I like that. And it is wet. It is heavy. Like this thing is massive, as in it has a lot of mass. Do you like eating with your hands or not? I think it's spoon, though. You prefer a spoon. Me too. I got a tiny bite right here, and I like to just get a little bit of a taste. <laughs> My audience loves a guy who takes big bites. I like food. Ready? Ow. Mmm. <sighs> it's a nice red. The last place was very crispy. This is kind of doughy. Mmm. And it has no ghee in it. Can I request ghee? <laughs> okay. The masala, it tastes a bit similar to the last one. But the one tastes different. Right. We're not shooting the same thing twice in a row. We're shooting it four times in a row, not twice. I want to see how big of a bite you can take. We all know that you are amazing at taking really small bites. Is that... My audience is feeling heartbroken and disappointed. They really appreciate a big bite. That's pretty big. Can you do it and save your lipstick too? Okay, go for it. Boom. <laughs> Indian cooking styles are just as versatile as the food itself. From street side stalls to mobile bicycle restaurants. And this man is delivering a tour de France of flavor. We're at our final chole destination. What dishes is he serving here? He's serving bun chane. It's an Indian burger. Bun is like a hamburger bun? Yeah, wow. bun and we put chanes inside. Oh. Bun chole. That's easy to remember. Bun do you order chole? it? Do bun chane de do bhaiya. Bun chane. Here's the bun, here's the chane or chole. Put it together and you've got that's the kind of burger you want. So he puts on some butter. It's ghee. Guys, calm down. It's ghee. So inside here, I see bean and I see potato. These are boiled chutney. Yeah. We put in some potatoes, onions, salt, chaat masala. And this is his chutney. What kind of chutney? Himli, yeah. Is he going to kind of mash that up? He's going to mix it. Oh. Mm. Turn the buns. And then he's got this nice little machine here for squeezing in some fresh citrus. Now he's stuffing the hamburger bun with the chole. Thank you, sir. That looks good, man. So we have our Indian burger here. I'm gonna show you, Kai, right here. I mean, would you take a look at the beauty? That is Lovely. all that stuffing in here. Crispy on the outside, toasted in that ghee. I'm so pumped. We're gonna try it out. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go for it. I'm just in the wrong country, bro. A lot of flavor. That is super salty. Maybe a little too salty for me, but I really like the big chunks of onion in there, and it's a little crunchy. Potato. And the potato, mm. too. What kind of people are eating here? Normally, the college girls. Just anybody who wants a cheap treat. 14 cents only. And I do wow. like the bread. It's very nice on there. It's very convenient. You could drive to school while eating this. Who's going to shoot then? That's a good point. Try it. Bus. Food. With how satiating, filling, and just plain satisfying all this food is, it's hard for a meat lover like me to believe all we ate today was pure vegetarian. That's if you have a chance, good. don't miss the tandoori kulcha with about I'm half a stick of butter. Taste-wise, it's like looking into the eyes of God. Wow, what a treat getting to tour all this chole with you. Want to do a shirt check? Ta-da! Stain free. That's pretty good. You made it through four locations of this Subi brown food and ended up clean on the other side. If you want to check out more about Dick she is on Instagram right here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs> Okay guys, um, I'll stick uh, the link to the original video in the description below, so do check it out. Check out the channel, um, yeah, best of a food review show. Um, Jenny, Jenny, yeah, I, would, I would like them to tell us which one was the best that they had. Um, that would have been nice, but then uh, again, it, there was like different varieties though, mm. wasn't they? It was like made in different ways, so I guess, you know, it all depends. I think but for me it, the it first, was... although I'd love to try all of them, but just the fact that there was a loop in the, in the, um, it was like a That, that was I think, just crunchy. having... And it's different because I've never had it in the, whatever they put it in. What's the that culture. called? Uh, uh, in the tandoor. Yeah, I've never had that. Before. Um, I think just after having the first one, because it got a loop in there, I think you'll be probably quite full anyway. Uh, you probably wouldn't want, like, you know, eat all, all day really. Um, Honestly, if that that food was available here, forget like you know, even if it was just a bit more expensive than what it was there. I mean, it's quite cheap there, but um, I would have it. Honestly, here, it's not something like that. Just going somewhere to take away to take it home, you'd get from a small shop. You pay about five pounds something for a, a tub. That's just that's just the actual journey, and then 
I'd say one's fifty for uh, the actual bread to go with it each. And it's it's not it's the not same. the same. And not only that, no it's um, even if you go like now, uh, probably the place that's probably the busiest around here that we can go that there's loads of stores and it, it's not on the street. It's probably Soho Road for us. Mm. Uh, where there's loads of like Indian uh, you know shops that sell like Janine and stuff like that but again it's like um, not cheap parking's crazy horrendous and then on top of that the service there you go into those shoppers the auntie and the uncle don't even have to there's no customer service there's no, no. There, there, there's no nice politeness or anything like that everyone that I've been to is just like they, they look like they're half pissed off to be honest mm -hmm. um, but yeah it's there you know and the, you, you expect them to be like you know these people still look like you know that people come and eat you know yeah. this is what we enjoy doing but yeah, it doesn't seem like yeah. they, they just look unhappy come on um, so it's half the like yeah, and the food's supposed to be God, that's the, the love for it kind of thing. But like I said, I mean, we wouldn't, I wouldn't even know where to go to, if I really fancied it, which place to go to go and have it because you would feel like um, sort of slightly disappointed in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's only probably one at the moment that um, shop that you go to which ain't so far from us. Yeah, their yeah. their food's quite nice yeah, and they're they, quite pleasant. The thing like is, I don't do the, the actual bread with it. I had to go to the another shop to get the bread. See, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's how it was, yeah. But anyway, that looked tasty. There was no gold up in there. I wish there was. I would have loved to have, uh, yeah. It's been a while. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, let's know what else to react to and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, see you soon. Bye. Bye.